everyone welcome back to my channel uh, I'm Melissa if you don't know um, excuse the appearance but I've been crafting all day and it is freezing cold here in North Dakota it's snowy and icy out and I just didn't want to go anywhere so I didn't so I'm here to bring you a rather late video um, these are the last books I acquired in the month of October and I really wanted to share them with you and I tried filming this yesterday, but for some reason it did not work out. <laughs> My little boy is trying to get in the way here. And for some reason it didn't work out. So I'm going to try to film this today. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it up for you guys. <laughs> so let's dig into these books real quick. The first book I acquired at Target and I got it. It was on sale, so I picked it up. And that is Stalkin' Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, I think it's pronounced. And I'm really excited about this one. Um, it follows a girl who's like falls in love with the Ripper, I guess. I don't know. The I don't know. It just sounded really good. And I hear great things about it on BookTube. So I just decided I was going to pick it up since it was cheap. So yeah, I'm going to give it a try. The next book I picked up at Target, I actually got for 50% off instead of 20%. And that is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. And this is the first book in the Dark Artifices series. I think that's how you say it. And uh, I'm not too sure what this one is about. Uh, I just, I've been trying to collect all the books in the Shadowhunter world. And so when I saw this one and I got it really cheap, I figured I was going to pick it up. So that way I do have it. The next bunch of books that I got, I actually bought from Book Outlet. Um, I got paid from Plexus because I do sell Plexus so I got paid and so I wanted to spend my money on books and so I got that order a couple days ago and so I'm gonna try to share these with you too of course the first book I ordered was a, Chris, a Christmas coloring book and this is a very plus Christmas and it's by Robin Mead it's so cute you know I love coloring books I just love the pictures in here and Christmas is one of my favorite my favorite holidays and so I don't have a Christmas coloring book in my collection so and I'm not sure why but now I do so yeah I picked that one up the next one I picked up is the second book in the series it's stay with me by Mila Gray I have the first one it's called come back to me and this is about a marine but I believe you can read these as standalones because this one follows a girl who started working at a marine hospital and like meets an injured marine and I don't know stuff happens and so I believe you can read these as standalones I'm not 100% sure but I, I got the first one so I figured I might as well pick up the second one and I got it really cheap so the next one I picked up is The Bang Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah, Sarah Rees Brennan and Maureen Johnson Ooh, that's a lot of authors <laughs> um, but this follows Magnus Bane um, and I watched the TV show uh, Shadowhunters so and I haven't read any of the books yet but I really like his character and so I'm really interested to read his character once I get through the books and I really like that I can find it. they have like little comic strips in front of like each of the stories I really like that that's really neat so I'm really interested to see more about Magnus Bane and his story the next one I have actually, well, not completes the series. It's part of a series that I'm trying to collect, and that is Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. This is the third book in the Fallen Kingdom series, and I really don't know what this series is about. I think um, Fallen Kingdoms is similar to like Game of Thrones or something. I'm not 100% sure, so if you know, please post it in the comments below. I would like to know because I honestly don't, but I hear really good things about this series, so I... I thought I'd give it a try and I end up picking the first book up at a used bookstore so I figured now I gotta pick up the other books so now I got three now I gotta pick up two and four so boy never ending never ending story with me the next book is another book in the uh, in a series that I needed and that is Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi the first book is uh, Under the Never Sky I believe yeah Under the Never Sky and I believe this is a dystopian novel and I can't remember what the first one is about um, but I believe it is a dystopian novel but I have the second one now now I gotta get the third one so I can marathon the series because this has been on my to read list forever 
The next one I picked up is the Great, the Great Hunt by Wendy Higgins. And I don't know if this a, is a Beauty and the Beast retelling or... I'm not sure exactly, but I hear really great things about it and I wanted to give it a try and it was really cheap so I thought I was gonna I was gonna get it so I could try it. And I think this is a series, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a series. Um, so if you know, please post in the comments below, but I believe it is a series. The next one, I have no idea what it's about, but it sounds so intriguing. And that is Wink Poppy Midnight. And if you haven't read the synopsis to this, I will read it to you now. It says, every story needs a hero. Every story needs a villain. Every story needs a secret. Wink Poppy Midnight. Two girls, one boy, one summer, one bad thing. What really happens, someone knows someone is lying. That just sounds so intriguing. Like, as vague as can, as can be, but so intriguing. And this cover... Is absolutely gorgeous so I figured I was gonna give it a try since I got it really cheap the next one is uh, dream a little dream by I think it's Kirsten Greer Greer I'm not sure exactly I'm probably butchering that name and I do apologize um, but this follows a girl who has starts having these dreams about uh, four boys and then somehow she sees them in real life and so it takes off from there and it just sounds really really good and this like book is so much skinnier to like normal hardcovers I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it is and it's it just sounded really intriguing and I got got it cheap so I th figured I'd give it a try and then the last book I have to show you it's been on my to read list for a long time and I got it really cheap on book outlet so and I believe this is a series because I think there is a second one I don't know if it's a there's a third one coming out to this one, but I know there is at least two, and that is Winter Song by J S J Jones, I believe it is. Um, but this is about the Goblin King, and who would not want to read a book about the Goblin King? I honestly don't. I just saw Goblin King, and I just stopped. I stopped from there. I'm like Goblin King. Yes, I'll take the book. Uh, I watched Labyrinth like a long time ago, but. It was okay, but it was really interesting to me. So, uh, yeah, I just decided that I wanted to give this one a try. And so I picked it up really cheap on Book Outlet. So, yeah, that's why, why I got it. And the cover, or the inside page, is so pretty. But anyways, those are all the books. And the last book haul I have uh, from October, and I'm sorry this uh, video is a little late. It's been a crazy couple of days. I've been working really hard to get stuff ready for a craft show that I have coming up this weekend. So yeah, so it's been pretty crazy here. Um, but but yeah, um, so if you liked any of these books or have any more information for me on any of these books, please post in the comments below. But please, no spoilers because I hate spoilers. <laughs> And um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and then hit subscribe if you like to see more from me and my kitty cats coming over to say hi. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye!